This top gardening tip is dealing with garden location. Lucky enough to be able to choose a new spot for a garden? Maybe you just moved. Perhaps you have a small garden plot, but after observing your space for a while, you want a new area. These tips will help you choose a new, more efficient location. Stick around to the end and get our bonus tip. And I feel like New York City. Get me to the farm. Hi, I'm Sue with Get to the Farm here to talk to you about the top tips for dealing with garden location. If you live in an urban or suburban area, your first task is to make sure you are allowed to have a vegetable garden. Some municipalities and homeowners associations have restrictions on front yard vegetable gardens, while backyard gardens are okay. Others may not allow vegetable gardens at all. Sometimes you get to be able to choose a spot for a new garden. Perhaps you've just moved, or you have a small garden plot but have decided to choose a new location. Luckily, locating your garden can happen any time of the year. In fact, it's best to observe your chosen location for a winter or two. You want to locate your garden area in a sunny spot with at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight per day. Take into account the location of faucets and landscaping so you don't have to drag hoses through rocks and around trees. Look for nice areas and place a garden spot there. You can tuck a small bed in almost anywhere. On slopes, build a raised bed to cope with the less than suitable grade. Lay out your garden in a predictable location. You don't want to choose an area that tends to dry out a lot, or one that's prone to water logging or flooding during heavy rains. Strong winds will dry out plants and soil and make it hard for pollinators to do their job. Gusts can knock over young plants or even take down trellises. Although you may try not to place your garden in a distant or difficult to reach area, sometimes that's where the sun or open space is. Then you might consider a welcoming path to make the walk nicer or, or even adding a faucet nearer to your garden area. If you have to use a less than desirable planting spot, choose crops better suited for those areas. Greens love partial shade and will benefit by not bolting to seed in the hot times. Don't be afraid to intermingle vegetables and flowers. Some flowers, such as marigolds and chrysanthemum, have insect repellent properties. Flowers bring more pollinators to your vegetables. Plus, they're just pleasant to have around. So careful consideration to locating your garden and dealing with those difficult locations will get you off to a great start this gardening season. Please post in the comments below if you've gardened before or if this is going to be your first time to try a new garden this year. That's it for our top gardening tips dealing with garden location. Before we go, one last bonus gardening tip. If you have room, Try to squeeze a small herb or salad garden near your back door so you can grab items right when you need them. Be sure to check out our other tips on seedlings and transplants, watering, choosing plants and varieties for your area, garden care, and dealing with harvest and soil health. We'll put links to those at the end of this video and in the description as well. Thanks for visiting. Like, comment, and share. And if you're not already, hit the big red button below to follow us. And I feel like New York City. Get me to the farm. Get me to the farm.